Good morning, my friends. Uh, it is the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time. It's also day 45 of Before Him, so we're halfway through our 90 day season. This is not a fake background. Uh, this is the Basilica of the Annunciation right behind me. Uh, so this is where uh, the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and told her that she would conceive and bear the Son of God and they shall name him Emmanuel. God is with us. Uh, we're staying at the Legacy Hotel in Nazareth and uh, just arrived today. Of course, we arrived on Saturday. I'm making this video Saturday night. You'll see it probably on Sunday morning. So we get our days mixed up. Um, but it, it's been a good day. We had a, about an 11 hour direct flight from Chicago to Tel Aviv. Uh, once we arrived, we had to get a, a COVID test, a blood test for uh, to test seriology. And it looks like everybody is clean and ready to go. So praise be to God. Um, what I'd like to talk about is the gospel for today. So it's the gospel of Mark uh, chapter 10. It's the story of Bartimaeus, um, which is the, the blind man. And so... Jesus is leaving Jericho with his disciples and a, a large crowd. So people have heard his teaching. They've seen the miracles. And so Bartimaeus is crying out, you know, son of David, have pity on me. And so key thing here, son of David was a title of the Messiah. It was known that the Messiah would come from the line of David. So Bartimaeus, even though he was blind, he could see. Uh, he could see a lot more clearly than many of them that this Jesus was the Messiah, the one that they had been waiting for. And so some of the disciples were trying to quiet him down. You know, you could imagine all the people wanting to get a piece of Jesus and they're trying to silence him, you know, and he cries out all the more. I love that, that Bartimaeus did not back down. He knew he needed something and he felt like Jesus was the answer. And so he did not back down. How often do we just like think, oh, well, Jesus is too busy. He's got so many, he's got a, billions of people, you know, knocking on his door. Who am I? But Bartimaeus kept crying out. And uh, so Jesus stopped and said, call him. So he told his disciples to call Bartimaeus. And I love this line. So the, the disciples start to say, when, when Jesus calls somebody like this, they, they know something important is about to happen. So they say to Bartimaeus, take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. And uh, to know that Jesus has something in store for all of us and to get excited about that. So Bartimaeus throws aside his cloak. He springs up. He runs to Jesus and he says, and Jesus says, what do you want me to do for you? If Jesus asked you that question today, what would you answer? What do you think? What, what do you want from Jesus today? What kind of healing? What kind of blessing? What are you looking for from Jesus? This is really important because the Lord wants us to participate in this, um, you know, in our own salvation. He wants to engage our wills. And so it's okay to ask, even if it seems like something miraculous. You know, most of the people thought, Bartimaeus, you're crazy. You know, nobody can heal your blindness but God alone. Of course, we know he was speaking to God. And so he says, Master, I want to see. I want to see. So he wanted this physical healing. But always in scripture, there's a deeper spiritual healing. And, uh, you know, and Jesus wants us to be able to see things from his point of view. That's what wisdom is, is to see things from his point of view. Master, I want to see. And Jesus says, go your way. Your faith has saved you. So often we hear a connection between faith and, and healing in scripture. And so how is your faith? And if it's weak, Sorry for the dogs barking here. Uh, if your faith is weak, ask God for the gift of faith. Ask for an increase of faith. Because the Lord wants to do miraculous things, impossible things in your life and through your life. And then the last point here is immediately he received his sight and followed him on his way. So Bartimaeus did just say, thank you, Lord. I got what I wanted from you. Now I'm going to go on my own. He followed Jesus. He became a faithful disciple. How often do we cry out to Jesus when we need something? And then when he answers our prayers, then we've already gone on, you know, to do our own thing. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for Jesus. 
Help us to be aware of our blind spots, the places where we need healing. Help us to know, Lord, that you are the Son of God and you can do anything uh, in our lives and through us. And help us to be your faithful disciples along the way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And uh, today we're going to be going to the Sea of Galilee. So we'll have some videos from a boat on the Sea of Galilee and mass from a church on, on top of the house of Peter's mother-in-law. Some incredible things we're going to experience. So I hope you, you like and share these videos with friends and bring people along in this pilgrimage. And hopefully one day you'll be able to join us in person as well. God bless you.